should hit the like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell. No, I, I, no, just ring it. Keep ringing it. Ring that notification bell. This is Lady Alexandra right over here. She's busy carving away her pumpkin. Would you like to peek in? You don't have to. Anyway, if you want to, you're welcome to. Anyway, welcome to the Gentleman Psychic. Make certain to hit the like, subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Right there. Also, we have for you, make certain you check out the Patreon link in the bio. Uh, the Gentleman's House is what it's called. And also, make certain to find me on Instagram, Twitter, Patreon. I already said that. Also, um... Make certain you check me out on my webpage, thegentlemanpsychic.com. So today we are going to be talking about Halloween. It is the season. It is the season where everyone dresses spooky and everyone is sort of chilled by the night air and they're afraid of the ghouls and monsters that may arrive up and down the neighborhood. This is the part I don't like where you have to like reach in and get all the beer. I wish you could see what I'm seeing because she is, she's got her hand inside of that pumpkin. Anyway, so we are going to be talking about pumpkins. We're going to be talking about one in particular, Jack O'Lantern. We have selected a couple of hardy pumpkins for the carving. But before we do, I want to tell you a little bit of history, a little bit of story behind the whole ordeal of the Jack O'Lantern. So it started in Ireland many, many, many years ago, centuries ago, look through the centuries of time. There was a poem about a man dubbed Stingy Jack. And Stingy Jack decided that he was going to have a drink with the devil. So they go down to the pub, but oh, Jack doesn't have any money. So he says, you're the devil. Why don't you just turn yourself into a gold coin? That way then, I'll pay the, for the drinks, and then you turn yourself back and come and join me. Well, the devil went ahead and, and went with it and allowed himself to be turned into the gold coin, and Jack went right into the bar, and instead of getting a drink, he put that gold coin right in his pocket next to a crucifix, which of course trapped the devil inside his pocket. So he says to the devil, Devil, I'll let you become yourself if, after, I'm, after one year's time, you leave me alone, and if I die, you won't take my soul. The devil reluctantly agrees. So time goes on, the devil has all but forgiven Jack of his shortcomings, and Jack and the devil are walking along one day, and there's a beautiful tree with beautiful fruit, and Jack says, oh boy, I love that fruit. I would give anything to have that fruit. Well, the devil, being spry as he was, says, All right, Jack, I'll get you that fruit. And the devil climbed up the tree. And just as the devil was about to climb down again, Jack took out his knife and carved the sign of the Holy Cross into the tree, trapping the devil up in that air forever. Or at least would be forever. And he says to him, however, old Saint Nick, not Saint Nick, but the other, other Nick, old Nick, old, old scratch. If you would like to come down again after 10 years time, if you will leave me alone and will not claim my soul, I will let you down out of this tree. So he did. He carved out the, the, the sign of the Holy Cross and the devil climbed down. He was quite angry, but the devil was a man of his word. Well, not too long after, the man actually ended up by dying. Jack was, he died tragically and he went to meet God and God said, Jack, there is no way I would ever let someone who was as stingy and rude and mean like you into my kingdom. You have to go to hell. So he goes to the gates of hell and Satan says, my word is my word. You're not getting in here. So he said, well, what do I do? I can't go to heaven. I can't go to hell. I don't know what I'm going to do. And the devil says, I know what you're going to do. I'm going to give you a lump of coal and a lantern to light your way. And then you, dear Jack, 
of the lantern can wander Earth forever. Isn't that wonderful? Look at the good deal you got. Well, so from this tradition, the Irish would carve potatoes or turnips, and they would put them on their porches to drive away Jack of the Lantern, Jack of Lantern, and other evil wandering spirits. But when it got sent over to England, then they started using other fruits like uh, turnips and uh, whatever, other things. But when we came into the United States in the 19th century, all of these European Catholics brought with them their wonderful traditions. Unfortunately, they could not find quite the potatoes, quite the turnips that they could, but you know, there was a fruit that was easily carved, one that was perfect for, for making scary faces to drive away the devil. And that was our friend, the pumpkin. So, without further ado, thank you for joining me. I'm going to start carving this. I look forward to how it's going to turn out, though I'm not very good at this. I if, am. She is, but if you come, if I come back with four fingers, I mean, I have four fingers already on one hand, but you know, if I come back missing a few digits, then um, we'll know it turned out to be a screaming good time. What's that? I don't know. We have ghosts. All right, I'm gonna carve the pumpkin. Okay, so here we are. I'm not very good at this, but I am informed that you are supposed to carve the small bits first. Um, okay, well, here we go. Um, I think he has a great... Um, I suppose you should draw out a pattern first. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, now that I've drawn on my design, I'm going to try to figure out how to make it because this is not something I normally do. But anyway, it's a learning process, and I'm so glad that you are here to join me. She says, yes. All right, here's what you do. Pardon me, folks. This, the mouth you cut out normally. Cut out here and here. Don't cut here. Here, you just take the skin off, and here, you just take the skin off. That's a very good idea, and that's actually what I was, was thinking on. Thank you for that. Great minds. Great minds. Think alike. I don't really know how to carve a pumpkin. I have carved a pumpkin a long, long time ago, but I'm not very good at it. So, I'm going to carve out the knife. I'm going to first stab my poor pumpkin to death all the way through. Now I'm going to just keep stabbing my poor pumpkin all the way through. Of course, it's important that you have an adult in the room, and I should have said that first and foremost. And the wonderful thing about having my friend Lady Alexandra here is that she is the adult in the room, and she's done this many times. I don't agree with that <laughs> statement. You're older than I am. She has done this many times. I'm but, not a responsible one. But, um, it's fun. I, I, you know, I... I did it many, many years ago. I usually, I, I'm really good at, at decorating things and making things look pretty, but I, um, this is not one of my skill sets, I, I have to admit. So. jack-o'-lantern. I need to do a little bit of refinement just around some of the edges. I'm thinking about a little bit better than that. Talk about your 
your pumpkin in the comments below or tell me who is your favorite Jack. Is it Jack Skellington? Is it Jack Captain Jack? Is it Jack Daniels? Talk about your favorite Jack in the comments below. And now, here's a word from my friend the devil and Osmo Deus and featuring Scratch. Hey, Osmo Tails and Scratch. When is a jack-o'-lantern not a pumpkin? When you drop it, then it becomes a squash because it's flat. <laughs> flat because you squashed it. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much, and thank you at home. Make sure to check me out on Patreon.com. Support an artist. If you can, anything you can give is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, and everyone at home, happy Halloween. From your host, Richard Lea Lillard, The Gentleman Psychic. I worry more and more over your popularity. How can I picture you getting sweet on me? Lucky little devil, your love dreams are bound to come true. I wish mine would be, lucky little devil.